Hello and welcome to Every Persona Explained, where we take a look at the origin and representation of every persona. And today, we're taking a look at the Hecatonchires. The Hecatonchires come from ancient Greek mythology, where they're described as giants with 50 heads and 100 hands each, which is where their name comes from. The main source for them is Hesiod's Theogony, one man's attempt to codify the entirety of Greek mythology. It's kinda a mess, but an interesting mess. The Hecatonchires are the children of Gaia, the primordial earth deity, and Uranos, the primordial sky deity. They were also the siblings of the Titans and the Cyclopes. At, at least the first three. There, there are more Cyclopes later in the mythology that are the children of Poseidon, who don't seem to be connected to the earlier three. Anyways, there are three Hecatonchires. Cotus, whose name means the Furious, Gyges, or Gyes, meaning the big-limbed, and Briarius, meaning the vigorous. Briarius does have a second name, that being Aegean, meaning the sea goat, but I'm just going to call him Briarius. They were believed to live under the sea and be the cause of storm winds, tidal waves, and earthquakes. Unfortunately for everyone involved, Uranos is an awful dad and found the Hecatonchires and Cyclopes to be monstrous and that the thing to do would be to imprison them either in Tartarus, no, not that one, or back in the Gaia's womb, gross. Side note, I had a time trying to figure out what Tartarus is. Most references claim it's part of the Underworld. Some that I found claim that it was somewhere beneath the Underworld. One claimed that Tartarus was actually one of the primordial deities, like Gaia and Aratus. I think the it's part of the Underworld classification is the best one, but it was very confusing. So the Hecatonchires chilled in their prison in Tartarus for an unspecified amount of time, until one day, someone named Zeus showed up. Zeus told them that the Titans had taken over the world, and he was at war with them. He offered them their freedom in exchange for their help in defeating the Titans. The Hecatonchires agreed, and with their help, Zeus managed to overthrow the Titans. They did this by throwing stones at the Titans, which doesn't seem like an effective tactic until you remember that they're giants with a hundred hands. So those were some big stones and there were a lot of them. Straight up, our arrows will blot out the sun, but with boulders. For their help, the Hecatonchires received rewards. Cotus and Gyges were given palaces in Oceanus, the great ocean that encircled the world, and were made the guardians of the remaining titans who were imprisoned in Tartarus. Now, if you ask me, that's pretty messed up. I mean, they just got out of there. Briarius, on the other hand, got a palace in the Aegean Sea and was given one of Poseidon's daughters, Camapilea, as a wife. If you've never heard of her, that's because this is the only reference to her that I was able to find. With this, the Hecatonchires kind of just fade into the background and don't really appear anywhere else. Well, except for the Iliad. In the Iliad, Briarius is mentioned as helping stop a coup against Zeus. There's also a lost epic poem called the Titanomachy, which, while lost, we have some references to, and it seems that in that version, the Hecatonchire sided with the Titans against the Olympians. And that's the Hecatonchire, ancient Greece's walking body horrors. But how are they represented in game? Not bad, actually. Expecting them to be rendered with the 100 hands and 50 heads would be unreasonable, so this is a good way to do it. Having a group of heads and a bunch of arms is good enough for referencing what they are. The lock hanging around their neck is also a reference to their imprisonment and their job as jailers. A nice double reference. They're also like green and blue, which might be a reference to them living under the sea. Or not, I don't know. They're categorized in the Hanged Man Arcana, which is fairly fitting. Upright, it can mean things like waiting, feeling trapped, needing release, being confined, which are all dead on for their imprisonment. Their movesets generally revolve around doing physical damage, fitting for giants with way too many limbs. But I want to point out some that fit really well. In P1, they get Magnara, which is an earth damage move in reference to their prodigious rock throwing skills. In P3, they get Gigantic Fist. They have many of those, I don't need to explain that one. And in Royale, they get Rebellion and Gatling Blow. 
they were part of a rebellion, so that fits in name at least. And Gatling Blow is probably the most fitting move, as that's what fighting them would probably feel like. I just imagine consecutive normal punches is the norm for them. Their trait is Glutton Mouth, which, while not referencing something they did, is probably there because of the 50 mouths they have. When itemized, they give either the Swift Strike Belt or the Gatling Belt, which is very interesting. While I'm probably looking too much into this, a 6th century Greek poet named Ibicus wrote something that we only have fragments of now, but one of the fragments says that during the Twelve Labors of Heracles, or Hercules if you want to be a Roman about it, when Heracles was sent to retrieve the girdle of Hippolyta, it was actually the girdle of Oeolica, a sea nymph and daughter of Briarius. Neat. Overall, this is some great representation. Also, Briarius is referenced in Don Quixote during the windmill incident. It's not super relevant, but it's funny and I wanted to mention it. So, for some reason, when I was playing through 5 for the first time, the Hecatonchires really stuck with me. I, I don't know why. But when I was workshopping these videos before I made the channel, the first persona that I did research on for it was the Hecatonchires. So this video was a long time coming, you could say. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know who you want to see next in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time on Every Persona Explained.